On the right of the steering wheel are the controls for the dashboard display, which lets you scroll around the different menus. When you first start, press this left arrow at 9 o'clock and it'll bring up the main menu with six different sub-menus. You can work around these menus using the arrow buttons. The right hand settings menu takes you to the startup check, where you can check the engine oil level and if necessary check the brake linings and clutch wear. Next down you have the functions menu, where you can set the sensitivity of lane departure warning, turn on the rain sensor for the wipers, and turn on the part regeneration for the diesel particulate filter when needed. Scroll down the settings menu and you can turn on and set the timer for the auxiliary heater, switch between two trip meters, use the vehicle menu to set the starting gear, set how the heated mirrors operate and customize the dashboard display. The main menu to the left of settings is the multimedia menus, which depend on the entertainment system you have fitted. Left again is the gauges menu, where you can check air tank pressures, oil pressure, fuel and AdBlue levels, battery voltage and instantaneous fuel consumption. The menu with the road symbol covers cruise control settings along with the trip meter showing average fuel consumption, fuel used, running times for driving and idling and the Scania driver support scores. The menu with the truck silhouette shows you the current suspension level and diff lock settings. Finally, the left-hand menu shows you any current warnings, such as this one showing we need to add windscreen washer fluid.